Thor's hammers or reflex hammers? Which one's which? Well, actually, I don't have access to Thor's hammer, but I might have a few reflex hammers. First and foremost is the tomahawk, the traditional one that we normally see. It's a piece of crap. But if you're going to use it, make sure you use it right. Pinch lightly on the bottom and make sure you get a good swing. Don't grab it like this. It doesn't work that way. You've got to get a good swing and let it swing within it. But as I said, it's a piece of crap. You've got the queen square or the Babinski hammer. If it's plastic, it's the queen square. And if it's metal, it's Babinski. I like this one. The only problem is it's really difficult to carry around with you. Uh, it's great for clinic base, but again, difficult to carry around. When you use it, get a good swing. And it's easy, really nice and easy to have a good gentle swing with it. The one that I use most of the time is the Tomner, something like that. I'd have as much luck saying uh, Thor's hammer's name, uh, but it's basic, nice and easy. Again, try to get a little bit of a swing to it, but it's also pretty forgiving if you decide to grab it like a hammer. And it's got enough weight that you can pretty easily get reflexes. Um, all of them actually have a point on the back side, uh, the Tomahawk and the Babinski, Queen's Cane, and this one, uh, that you can use for checking the Babinski reflex. However, I usually just use my thumb because this can get kind of painful. So there you have it. There's all sorts of reflex hammers. Find one you like. Warning, if you're going into rehab, you probably want to lose the tomahawk and carry one with a little bit better reputation around the halls of the rehab floor.